summer savings, and a whole lot more. Big separation between the city and the suburbs uh, this morning. 58 degrees in Bud Lake, while 71 at WCBS. Sunburn index 7 on a scale of 0 to 10. We expect a good deal of bright sunshine and fair weather clouds today. Comfortably warm and dry, the high 78 to 82. Air quality will be good. In the marine forecast, west to northwest winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. With local sea breezes developing this afternoon, visibility better than 10 miles. It'll be clear and cool tonight, sunny and pleasant tomorrow, and hazy and warmer and more humid on Sunday. Now through Saturday, at our biggest and best sleep sale, we've got your mattress. His name is Carl. He's a lawyer, and he's been blind since he was seven. Traveling with a long team, he gets around independently, getting to work each morning without assistance. But today is Saturday, and he's on his way to meet a friend who's agreed to help him shop for clothes. You see, as independent as Carl may be, like anyone else, he doesn't mind a little company, especially shopping. Sue and Carl have been friends since college, so they're used to traveling together. Notice how she lets Carl take her arm, holding it just above the elbow. That way, Carl can follow the motion of her body and sense when she makes a turn or comes to a sudden stop. Unfortunately, a lot of well-meaning people try to take the blind person by the arm. It may seem only natural, but it just isn't right. How about the John Wayne movie? Remember, let the blind person take your arm. Also, notice how Sue walks about a half step ahead of Carl, all the time being careful to let him know what's ahead. Their first stop. Sue turns, slowly but naturally, towards the door. Here she gives Carl an important verbal cue. Door opens towards you to the right. After that, it's as simple as walking through a doorway. Once inside a store, or any place unfamiliar to the blind person, it's always good to explain a little about the place. How's the store set up? What are the aisles like? Are they wide or narrow? Are there stairs, or is it all on one level? That way, the blind person can begin to form a mental impression of his surroundings. Could you tell me where the men's department is? Yes, it's just on the second floor. Thank you. She tells Carl that they're approaching a flight of stairs, and whether they're going up or down. Like anyone else, he may or may not choose to use the railing. As they reach the top, Sue pauses to let Carl know. And last step. Okay. Walking down a narrow aisle or passageway calls for a slightly different method. Here, Sue moves her arm behind her and towards the small of her back, and Carl extends his arm, moving directly behind her. Once they're through, Sue returns her arm to the normal position. Of course, it helps if your sighted guide knows where he or she is going. Oh, this can't be right. Let's turn around. Okay, and try again. To reverse direction, they turn toward each other, Carl maintaining contact throughout. Once again, they're on their way. Finally, the men's department. Jackets on your left. Okay. There's something right here which might do. Can I help one. you? Yes, yes. Thank you. I'm looking for a size 40 regular jacket. All right. Follow me. Okay. But now comes the hard part: finding a jacket they both like.
outside, Carl realizes that he'd feel more comfortable walking on the other side. Let's switch sides, okay? Near the door. Okay. They pause, and Carl trails his arm across Sue's back, always maintaining contact. Let's go. Time for some coffee, and time for one more guide technique. Plenty of seats. Great. As they approach the table, Sue gives Carl two important cues. The chair is in front of you. OK. Here's the back. Thank you. She tells him the position of the chair and places his free hand on the back of the chair. That done, they can both sit down. Do you want me to read a menu? Mm-mm. I smell some apple pie. <laughs> you see, if you're acting as a sighted guide and you're not quite sure of what to do, ask because sometimes even a sighted guide needs a little help. 